All right, why don't I go ahead and solve another question? And this will be a little bit more remote than the, what I've been solving before. This is still nonlinear, I'm still there for this very reason, right? It's y prime square, right? Um, and is x missing or y missing? So I'm looking at the y prime is multiplied by one, y double prime is multiplied by x squared. So I don't see y. So that should be, you know, uh, a question that we may be able to solve, right? So y is missing, but it doesn't matter whether y is x is missing. The substitution is the same, but then how we proceed with the next step is different, okay? So this is what I get. And as you see, I will have u prime will be equal to y double prime. So it's going to be x squared. Um, u prime is going to be du to x, right? Obviously, this is y double prime, right? This is y double prime, which is equal to u prime. Plus, y prime is u, square is equal to 0. x square du dx is equal to minus u square. So I get myself, uh, if I move this, minus du by u square will be equal to dx by x square, right? right? Yeah, I'm good. Then I take the integral of both sides. So this will be minus minus plus. Well, let me do a shortcut. 1 by u is equal to 1 by x plus c. Right now, you may be saying that, to me, whoa, 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 what happened to me? That was, a, you know, the, the, the integral of u to the minus 2 is minus 1 by u, right? Well, the right-hand side 2, right? So I simply canceled it. Or, you know, if you have a minus c, it doesn't really matter, minus c plus c there. At the end of the day, just an arbitrary constant, right? So I can write it this way if I choose to. Then the next step is to insert this dy dx. So this becomes, uh, let me be careful over here, dx by 1 over x plus c1 is equal to minus dy. Yeah, so I just simply move the negative to the right hand side because it looks better because it's already complex over here. I don't want to confuse it. The right hand side and I take the integral would be much better. So what am I going to do in here? Okay, so what am I going to do is this is divided by 1. I'm going to multiply this by x, this by 1, right? So I will get myself x c one x plus one. Okay, I wrote it weird. Just give me one second, please. Minus dy. Yeah. Do you see what I did? So I, uh, you know, this becomes c one x plus one. I wrote it this way, and there was an x down here, so I made it to be here. X dx is equal to minus dy. And the next step is to take the integral of both sides. You know that. Uh, but what is going to be the, uh, you know, uh, this is not going to be ln c1x plus 1, right? Because I have this. So now what I will do is I'll do another substitution. So I'm kind of done, right? So, uh, you know, as long as I can obtain the left-hand side integral of it, integral of this whole left-hand side, I'm kind of done. There's no u anymore. So I'll do another substitution over here to solve this. I do this way. c1x, you don't have to do this. This is just a way. Is equal to, well, I'm going to call this u, but these u's are different. As long as what you're not, you know what you're doing, that's fine. You can call this T, you can call this S if you choose to, but I'm kind of done. There's no more U here. It's not going to confuse me. But if it confuses you, just put T, S, whatever. C1 dx is equal to du, right? And let's look X because I'm going to plug that in. So from here, the X becomes U minus 1 by C1, right? And dx becomes, uh, well, du by C1, right? I simply re-manipulated this around to get this and this because I'm gonna kind of like you know x right here right here dx right here see what happens okay so x is u minus 1 by c1 right and the dx bar is du by c1 right divided by u right c1x plus 1 is u is equal to minus dy okay Let's do a little bit of manipulation of the left hand side. It doesn't look as comfortable to me. So it's going to be u minus 1 by u, right? And then it will be du by c1 square is equal to minus dy. So I'll do this now. Let's distribute this, you know, u minus 1 by u. So I think that will be easier for me to take the integral off. Let me take out 1 by c1 square outside because it's easy for me this way, 1 minus 1 by u, du is equal to minus dy, 
Um, so if I take the integral of both sides, then this 1 over c1 squared will stay right. Then I have, uh, this becomes u minus ln u, minus ln u is equal to minus y plus c2. Now I'll insert what u was, right? So let's go back and do it. 1 by c1 squared, well let's insert this, c1x plus 1 minus ln c1x plus 1, right? is equal to minus y plus c2. I want to leave y2 alone, right? I want to have an explicit solution. So y will be equal to then. I'll move this to the other side. So basically I'm moving this to this side, this whole thing to the right hand side. So I want to have an explicit solution. And let me play around a little bit. So it's going to be minus x by c1. Did you see that? So I simply, you know, c1 square c1. So I get myself that. Actually, let's do this. So I can write this way plus 1 by c1 squared minus ln. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, right? And then let's not forget the c2, right? Plus c2. Uh-huh. See, one thing, uh, you know, do you see this? This, this, well, minus of that, but that doesn't really matter. So those are like, I'm summing up two arbitrary constants. So I'm going to just call, you know, c2 minus 1 by c1 squared is equal to c3. Why not, right? At least it is, looks a little bit better. So then I get myself, let's actually do this, minus x by c1 plus ln of c1x plus 1. Well, then it becomes plus c3. So you can see that I obtained myself this as the final form of the solution. But this is kind of it. There's no more trick. So after, uh, you know, inserting this, you get yourself right here is what I mean. Um, after you insert these things, you get yourself some equation and then go solve it, right? So then the rest is nothing to do with the nonlinear versus linear. It is simply mathematics, right? Right, that's going to do it for me. Have a good day. I will catch up with you in the next segment.